F-A-B, standing by. F-A-B. 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 A retired French secret agent has apologized for planting explosives in a state-sponsored terror attack that sank the Greenpeace ship Rainbow Warrior in New Zealand in 1985. Jean-Luc Kister said he and his colleagues never meant to kill anybody. I would like to take this opportunity to express my deepest regrets and apologizes. Greenpeace planned to use the ship, which was moored in Auckland Harbour, to disrupt French nuclear tests in the Pacific 30 years ago. You need to know that in France, the president is the chief of the armies. That could have been a Watergate, a French Watergate. Kister said they just wanted to sink the ship, and the death of photographer Fernando Pereira had plagued his conscience ever since. Greenpeace New Zealand executive Bunny McDermott. I'm glad someone from that murderous fiasco apologised, but it's 30 years later, nobody was held to account for the murder of Fernando. They put a massive bomb on the side of a ship in the middle of the night where a lot of people were sleeping and where they knew a lot of people were on board. So there's still lots of misinformation and frankly lies in it. McDermott is a former deckhand on the Rainbow Warrior and friend of Fernando Pereira. For her, an apology is not enough. Greenpeace wants a Parisian street or square named in his honour.